Now then, we really are in the business end as we look at tip number four for reading comprehensions. And this is, um, if I think about tip number seven, which is kind of shoot for the stars and aim for, uh, for higher marks, this is the one which is really going to help with, uh, with that. And um, it's to do with the bigger marked questions. They're, they're kind of out of five, six, seven, eight, uh, sometimes up to 10, 12 marks, bigger marked questions. And ultimately, um, we're at the point now where it's unlikely that it's just going to be a list of things. All right. It, it, it might be, you know, if you're if the question is asking you to name a bunch of stuff that is in that passage and it looks like the stacks of it. All right. And it's kind of a listing sort of question and it's worth eight marks and there are at least eight things and you, there's nothing to explain particularly. Then then that might be um, the case there. But mostly these these questions now um, are testing your ability to not only find something, but to try and quote it, uh, uh, some quote some evidence of that and then explain it as well, okay? And that's, um, that's where we're going, and uh, I, I'm teaching GCSE at the moment, and, and that's exactly what's required, but it happens at, um, you, you know, in the SATs, and it happens in, in uh, Common Entrance. So uh, bear that in mind that ultimately, um, when you've got these bigger mark questions, there's got to be a better strategy than just thinking of to write, oh, is that worth eight? I've got to write eight things. That's not the case at all. And more often than not, what we're looking for is uh, to structure your answers. And let's take the eight mark question as a good example. We want to structure our answers nicely. And, and realistically, an examiner is going to, for an eight mark question, they're going to be after four points, each one worth two. Um, that's as a, a, a guideline. I mean, I'm going across them, <laughs> trying to um, advise guys in the States and in the Far East. And, uh, and so that's kind of, you know, how it goes, but might not always be the case. There might be uh, three marks for those sort of things. But mostly, from what I've seen, you're going to have to, uh, with a response to a, to a question like that, you're going to have to find, you know, for an eight mark question, you're going to have to find four things uh, and you're going to have to provide some evidence of that. So, quote, um, and then you're going to have to explain it. So, so each of those four things will be two, three lines. And if you separate them with paragraphs, so really showing that you're, you're advanced in your ability to structure things, if you separate them in different paragraphs, it actually shouts out to the examiner, look at this, I know what I'm doing. I'm going for those full eight, those full eight marks. I'm going for them. I've got four paragraphs here. I've made a point with each one. I've put some evidence. I've quoted accurately and I've made a nice exclamation expl explanation about each one. Try not to give me try not to give me eight marks because you can't. All of those are accurate. And therefore, that's why I say don't be afraid to aim for full marks, because if we can structure these bigger mark questions confidently and competently and the, provide the the answer as well as some evidence. Quoting, that's going to be a different video. I'm sure that you will, um, dependent again on your age, you'll have been taught how to do that. But to, ultimately, it's cheating. You can copy from the passage to help your sentence. But as long as you use quote marks, examiners love it. Go figure. Brilliant. OK, so you put a quote in and then explain a little bit. It's, you know, and uh, we call it PE or many teachers call it PE. Stands for making a point. Um, and then some evidence of that point. So that's the quote and then explaining. All right. So if you can use PE, a PEE for uh, structuring some of those bigger marks questions. All right. I'm sure I'm sure that you will find that, you know, your marks will go up significantly. And I, I'm really talking about those six, eight, you know, 10 mark questions. Uh, give it a go next time because uh, I'm sure you'll find the results uh, will be much improved.